During our four years in Spain, a young man came up to me and told me about Esther Barras. He said, she is the most influential Protestant lady in all of Spain and you need to meet her. And so I contacted Esther and I went over and met with her. And she said, I know who you are. You're with Campus Crusade and you lead people to Christ and you teach people how to do that. And she said, no one has ever taught me how to lead someone to Christ and I've never led anyone to the Lord. And I want to learn how to do that. Would you te I will teach you how to speak Spanish if you will teach me how to lead someone to Christ. No problem. So she went to the classes that we had, the training session. And when it came time for us to go out witnessing, we went to Retiro Park in Madrid. And so we sat down on a bench and we prayed that God would bring someone to us that was looking for a personal relationship and that Esther would be able to lead this person to Christ. Plonk, somebody sits down on the bench, at the end of the bench. And I look over and it's a lovely Spanish senora. And so I started talking to her in my still not perfect Spanish and so Esther took over and we did a modified uh, survey and then Esther told her a little bit of her little story and asked her if she would like to know how to know God in a personal way. And this lady said, I can't believe that I sat down on this bench next to you two. My husband just died, my children have left home, and so this summer I was able to, for the first time in my life to travel all over Spain. I went to every cathedral, every monastery, every chapel, trying to find God. I've always wanted to know God in a personal way. And I couldn't find Him. And I came here today, sitting here, just saying, God, where are you? I am so angry that I can't find you. And then here you are. So she prayed with Esther to receive Christ. And Esther was so excited about getting to lead someone to Christ that she took her entire Sunday school class out into the parks of Madrid and everybody got to talk to somebody. And then they brought them back to church with them and they got to share in the church that they had just received Christ. And as we went out witnessing, we found that there were a lot of people who were ready to receive Christ but had just never heard and they didn't know how. They'd wanted to, but they didn't know how to actually do it. But we leave those results to God. He's the one that knows, and He does enough little divine interventions along the way that we know He's there. He's continuing to use us, and we'll continue to use us until we die.